I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I'm Esther Jorgensen, and I guess I'm responsible for this whole uh, McConaughey house. Uh, a notice was put on a uh, telephone pole out in front of our house, and of course, curiosity killed the cat, and I had to find out what uh, was going on, and they were, it was a notice for rezoning to commercial pro property from residential. And when my husband came home from work, he had seen the notice, too, we went out and looked out the kitchen window and he decided, oh dearie, that's a good project for you. And I, so I've been involved since 1973. And I'm Lucille Lorge and I got involved after Esther did because by the time I got here, the house had been saved and the Historical Society had gone into a contract with the Hayward Area Recreation District. and. They own the house. Uh, Hard actually owns the house and the grounds. And Historical Society was brought in to refurnish the house and show the house. And so I didn't meet Esther for maybe two or three years after. She was already working on the project. As it happened, uh, the, uh, our local school district has what they call parent, uh, parent principals or uh, meetings, luncheons, and so I called the superintendent and said, hey, I said, uh, uh, Paul, I said, uh, I've got a really good project and could I be put on your agenda? And so when I explained what I wanted to do, he said, oh, of course, you know. And I got up and told them what was going to happen to the house. Before I left, before I left the building, I had a full committee and that was uh, volunteers. And we really went to town. Everybody adopted some more publicity. We had a realtor that was doing research and down at the county, and, and we really, everybody had their jobs to do. We then uh, went to several organizations who also uh, submitted their uh, list of uh, supporters and uh, we eventually uh, asked each of them to adopt a room. After we really got going, we uh, opened up the house, no admission, just to see the house and, and find out if they wanted to help. And we got even more help. And we got television rights, and, and uh, uh, we were asked to come to these organizations uh, and speak about the project, and from there, it's, it finally came to pass. I think we only paid a hundred and thirty-five thousand. That's something like for that. the property in the house at that time. Mm -hmm. When I got involved, <clears throat> Leo Perry was president of Historical, mm -hmm. and since he was our friend, he got my husband and I involved. <laughs> and we came down, and I probably met Esther and Lois over at that time, pulling tacks out of the floor in the kitchen. <laughs> We were there like three or four hours, and we only covered like a square foot. There were so many nails nailing the old horsehair pad down underneath the linoleum. And uh, that's when I got involved. And then uh, Bud Myers, his name was, from Historical Society, decided to take the house over because we didn't know how to go about uh, any of the work that had to be done. The front porch was sagging, and so Bud and his wife Penny took it over for about a year, and they got it all ship shape. And they were the ones, actually, that got most of the people signed up for the individual rooms. Yeah. And they started on their rooms, and uh, within a year, almost all the rooms were taken except the bathroom it had the most work to be done. And uh, 
So then Bud said, well, that's it. I'm done with it. I've worked so hard. They did get the history of the family pretty good, too, for us. And um, so then I said, well, I'll take it over. But I had never done <laughs> anything like this. And I really didn't know what I was doing. But we opened the house to the public. And uh, very soon, we weren't getting a lot of people through. No. Uh, well, well we, op we made a grand opening in 1976. Yeah, with no furniture. It was a bicentennial project. We mm -hmm. just tied in because I was on that committee also. <laughs> And uh, anyway, we opened the house up, and pretty soon, one of the girls that had been working in the kitchen pulling nails out, Lois Over, called and said, we've got to advertise the house more. And so I said, well, Lois, would you take over doing that? And she did. And she did a beautiful okay. job on that and on the research of the house. And she passed away four five years ago. Mm -hmm. And that left, well then Esther came in and I asked you if you would take over the docents. Yeah. Yeah. And I would just be house coordinator. Mm -hmm. So she did that. And the three of us ran the house for almost 30 years together. Yeah. And then when Lois passed away, Esther and I have hung in there. <laughs> but we've had lots of good shows here. Yeah. Um, what prune companies? Uh, Sense we prunes. Sense we prunes. We had a, they had a, came <coughs> over and took a lot of pictures and and uh, uh, did various things for their catalog, and we were all in the catalog. <laughs> yes, and then Sunset Magazine. Yeah, we had a lot came. Of uh, that Esther was twenty eight years ago. They took pictures, and we were in Sunset Magazine. And then Macy's has used the house several times for advertising. Layouts. Yeah. Big layouts. Yeah. And we decorate the house completely at Christmas, head to toe, every room. <laughs> and we choose a different theme every year. Uh, last year it was all butterflies. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole attic is full of our themes. <laughs> And then we decorated Easter, which we are right now, and then we decorate for Fourth of July, mm -hmm. and for fall, mm -hmm. and back into Christmas. We had a movie company come, oh, and uh, it was based on Booker, Booker Washington. It was called Booker. Booker, yeah, and I have a that copy, and uh, we they they rented the house, and. Uh, they uh, they had to repaint the kitchen and stuff because they had covered it with old burlap so that it would look even older than it is. And then they had the old-fashioned fans. Yeah. And a little boy had to stand, pull the strings so the fans would mm -hmm. go back and forth. And, and the front front walkway was all covered with, with dirt. dirt so that it would not really look, look like, like a buggy. Like uh -huh. And that was that was very good. I went and saw the movie. Mm -hmm. And it was done very, very well. I did realize that I had been related to the McConaughey family because my uncle Jack Marlin lived here all his life and they had a big ranch here too. And there were, you know, ranches all around here so everybody knew each other. And so um, Jack, of course, knew John McConaughey quite well. We brought him here one day and had him go through the individual rooms and kind of tell us a little that he remembered about the house. Mm -hmm. And that's how we found out on the railing by the stairs that during the 1906 earthquake, the whole chimney had come through the skylight and all the bricks had marred the railing there. And that's always a good story to tell people. And then he, of course, showed us where John kept his whiskey bottle out in the carriage house and a few other things. So when the house was uh, 100 years old, we had a week-long birthday party here. And we had uh, um, Fred's flower shop come in and they decorated the house with all fresh flowers and all of that. The bake San Lorenzo Bakery made a great big cake. And we had a parade. Parade from the, the post office. From the post office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
clowns and all. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Lucille was cheating though. She uh, had to ride him <laughs> one of the cars. Yes. But I was there to welcome everybody. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> but it was a week long birthday party and uh, everybody got to come in the house for free, mm -hmm. you know, because you can't charge them for a birthday party. <laughs> But it was it was quite an event. It was nice. In fact, uh, Hard brought in their big stage area and parked it in the parking lot, and we had a fashion show of old-fashioned clothing, and it was a big deal for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have uh, teachers in, within the area that uh, um, I don't know how many times they've been uh, here with their class, and of course the classes get promoted but the teacher doesn't. And it's great for the children to see the way people used to live years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. There's so many things, especially in the kitchen, that there's some things we don't know what they are. <laughs> there's a lot of things that children have never seen before. Mm -hmm. So it's, and just to have only one bathroom in the house is amazing to them. So it's great to thank the kids for their really cute and enthusiastic.